Wonderful good morning! <laughs> so today another morning we are in the middle of the Masai Mara and the morning has just started incredible. We have seen already, I don't know, hyenas, a cheetah even jumping up a tree, coming back down. Now we are here with the leopard. And I know one of the biggest questions you ask yourself right now, and you can see, yeah, my baby is here with me. You might wanna go on safari, but you have a child, and now you're worried because you're not sure, like, can you really take a baby or a child on safari? Is it safe? And that's why I want to share with you today on this video all about the truth, the reality on how it is about traveling with a baby. Mine now, he's one year, three months. Zai, how are you? Occupy. <laughs> and as you can see, the first tip, it's super early in the morning. We started at 5.30 in the morning. We have a Masai Shuka here to hold us. He's wearing two, two jumpers, <laughs> a carrier for the safari. And yeah, it can get cold. Even in Africa, in Kenya, it will be cold in the morning. So for your child, get a lot of clothes. But let's go and see the leopard. Here, corner, papa. <laughs> this is what we do to get the lions. <laughs> Guys, this is unbelievable. We are so close to the lion. There are so many and they even have babies. Now we are trying to get a bit closer. So apparently Zahi is sleeping. <laughs> He's missing out the lion. But we just had a discussion also in the car. I mean, maybe you can see our Land Cruiser. It's completely open. And I know you guys might wonder like, okay, you're taking your baby on safari, but is it even safe? <laughs> and these lions, they will stay there and they be hopefully <laughs> they stay there and they be calm not unless we jump out of the car we stand up or we do some quick movements so even for your child of course we cannot really control our kids so what we do with Zahi because I can show you maybe a little bit we have a baby carrier so he cannot just jump up and run away I mean right now he's sleeping but in general that's how we transport him because even in the safari even if we are on safari, we don't like carry a car seat for the game drives. We only have the car seat if you come from Nairobi to the Mara and back. <laughs> We're just having a quick uh, bush toilet break <laughs> next to the lion. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the issue is, like you have seen us, we had to wake up very, very early in the morning. Um, we started our game drive by 5.45. But now we were able to see all the cuts. And if you have a baby, the challenge is that's exactly his sleeping time. And right now, actually, we are here in a group. There are other travelers with us in the same car. But I highly recommend if you are alone with your baby or even small kid, it's better you get a complete private safari organized. That means you have your own car, your own driver and everything. And in case of anything like your baby screams or you want to go later because you know your baby is asleep and it's more important than seeing a lion, um, then yeah, your driver can do whatever you want to do. He's flexible. And even if you're just gonna game drive for two hours or one hour, at least he is there for you. Just to make sure that you guys are safe and you see everything you want. And now we are continue our drive. 
So when you're on safari with a child, you have to be very flexible. <laughs> he just woke up. So now he's getting his breakfast. And the easiest we always carry for him, okay, his first meal in the morning is uh, some milk. And now the second one is oats, oh, yeah. banana and He's milk. And uh, we are waiting actually on the other side right now. That's why all the cars are here. <laughs> and also as we want to go there, the cheetah started moving and he is walking and maybe he's gonna start hunting. So that's what we are going now. So in between feeding a child and a hunting cheetah. <laughs> We are stopping for a quick break. We are having setting up a bush breakfast, <laughs> a small picnic. And this is the only when you're actually allowed to get out of the car. Because if you're in the Mara, of course you have seen there are so many dangerous animals around. So you have to stay inside the car. And even now I cannot move far. We have to be close by the car. And it's good like after a few hours. Game drive, honestly, Zahi cannot make it longer than two, three hours in the car. He needs to, he's a child, he's a very active, he needs to move around. So I'm very happy we are setting up the, the picnic. And to be honest, this is one of my most favorite things when it's about safari. Of course, it's beautiful to see the lions and everything, but just chilling out, having the scenery and the breakfast in the middle of the wild, in the nature is <laughs> when it comes to the food, I know this is a very mom's half. What is my baby gonna eat on safari? And actually, it's very simple. Like, you just tell the chef in the kitchen the day before, or the evening before you go on safari, what your child wants to eat. And then they can prepare for you and they just bring it. So we have pancakes, uh, yogurt, boiled eggs, bread, mandazi sweets. We have anything. Juice. So that's simple. <laughs> Remember when the silence grew so big and pushed the whole street through the sky? The Drive the car. Mm, he knows right. how to drive. Drive the car. Okay, let me show you what we pack on any safari we go. So it doesn't matter where we're going, ha doesn't have to be a safari, but his bag is always there. Then, his carrier, oh my goodness, I would not know what to do without, because here we can't take a car seat. Um, so we always carry him with that. And then, you might have seen in the morning, it is super cold, so he had two of the jumpers, and already he made it dirty while eating so you have to bring some clothes for hot and cold and some shirts and what i missed now this time while packing is we didn't have like a windproof or even waterproof jacket for him also he's refusing to wear these caps <laughs> and it is really windy you can't imagine especially in the mornings when you go on a game drive it is cold so his ears needs to be safe of course, his favorite toy is to change his white vibes, diapers, changing mud, food, more food, more food, more food, <laughs> snacks. So we have his tea here, he didn't drink it. The lotions to change for changing and some water. Then hand sanitizer, sun blocker, sun lotion and mosquito spray.
staying in and wow let me just be honest going on a game drive for like i don't know six hours it is exhausting yeah i just want to rest <laughs> but i promised you some more tips because the question is should you dare or go all the way to the Masai Mara on your safari in Kenya? Masai Mara is very far away from Nairobi. You have to drive for five or six hours depending on which camp you are choosing. And going with a small child or baby, it can be exhausting. The other alternative is you fly in. But still, I say, to all my clients, I advise them, if you just choose one safari in your lifetime, then go to Masai Mara. And make sure you stay here at least two or even three nights if you have a child, because then you don't come here and rush for another game drive and yeah. then rush for another one. And here we are in Tipilikwani in Masai Mara. It's one of the four properties of uh, Atua Enkop. <laughs> And the reason why I think this one is the best a tour Enkop has for children in the Mara is because it is also not fenced like Marangenje. But in Marangenje, we were there. We are just from there. And I had the feeling that it is not that 100% safe for small kids the way it is here. Here I feel more safe because in Marangenje, you can literally hear the hippos coming out of the water at night and you know you're not allowed to leave your tent at night without having a Maasai in front of your tent who's walking you towards the restaurant. Which is fine and of course we are still safe even when we are there. But if you have a child, you might still have that thing of like, okay, let me be extra 100% safe and go to a beautiful tent, which is also in the Mara. Um, also maybe not fenced, but at least Dangerous animals are not walking through here at night. Bye bye Zahi! <laughs> so another reason is that here you have a pool and Zahi just loves swimming in the pool and that's his favorite thing to do and as a mom you also want to relax a bit and if your child is happy and can go to the pool or something like that I think that's a plus for every mother. <laughs> so us, we just have to go for lunch, we need to relax and sleep. And yeah, in case you have any questions about planning your trip in Kenya with your child or your baby or even if you don't have a child, you are most welcome and I'm sure I can help you to plan your trip. Bye bye!